Hey, how's it going? This is Dan. I uh, just um, have a s video here. I just want to show a little something. I'm um, just messing with my car. I'm not nearly a mechanic at all. I don't really know much at all about cars, but um, I saw some things online like with Eric the car guy or, you know, on YouTube and different things like that. Watch different videos for a Dodge Neon 2000 Air or whatever, or any type of car. It doesn't really matter, any, tr any vehicle. And so learn some things and, and um, right now I'm trying to do uh, a, or I am doing a, um, a back flush, whatever, or flushing the system, the radiator system thing going on um, because this is, is freezing cold. I've changed the radiator cap. I changed, um, you know, other things with it as well, um, you know, basically and, and things like that. Now, they were saying you need to... Um, get the figure out which one is the in uh, there's hoses and things figure out which hose is the inlet uh, in hose and which one is the out hose and um, so as you see these these hoses here now that I found um, he said that you the way that you could tell um, is you know run your car for a little while and see which one is the hotter hot um, uh, holes there and you got one there on the bottom which was mine that was hotter because I let it run for a little bit longer than I should have but the the bottom one would be um, the inlet and the, the, going in and then this one is the top one is going out so I found it a lot easier um, see down there you can see that but uh, down here um, at the where the hoses go in there uh you really can't get in there and it's really hard to get in there so he's eric the car guy was saying just to take the hoses off here um undo the clamps and uh things like that so and this is what i got i i put the whole i bought a bunch of stuff because i watched a different video and the guy told me um to buy different things and I'm kind of glad I got this, which was cool. Made a lot less of a uh, uh, mess. So this little thing here, um, that is an extension and so forth. And you're able to stick it in here and go ahead and, you know, do that and back flush it, flush the system out. So, Basically, that's what it is. Now, um, I'm going to take this here and put it in a bucket and fill up as many as I can fill up. I don't know how many I'm going to, uh, however much is in there. And um, so that's what I'm going to do now. He said to have one of these, of course, you'd rather want a bigger one, um, fit more in it. And also, you can see how dirty that really is um, there. So I'm just gonna pour it in here. Of course underneath, there's uh, I got down there. I uh, see how dirty that is. I mean, that's bad. Oh, man. So down there underneath is a, uh, you just got something to, to catch that, whatever's coming out when antifreeze and things like that. Uh, so let's do this here. So I'll put this back as well. And so I kind of just sneak it underneath here. Um, and it doesn't really matter how you get in here, but so let's see here. Let me, let me just, all right, well, so it's in there now and all set to go. And uh, I'm glad uh, that guy there, Eric, the car guy, he does a lot of different mechanics. He's mechanic work and everything and whatever. It has a ton of different videos. Uh, what he was saying, along with the other videos, uh, but what he was saying was in the end, let that be the out and the out be the end. So that's kind of caught my head. It's good, you know, easier to remember. So... Because you're wanting to back flush it, do the opposite way that it normally goes, so you just really get a clean flush. So let's see here. Let me get the hose and 
as you can see here, I'm gonna have to, uh, I have to hold that hose right there because if I don't, the water goes everywhere and it backs on me, so. All right, so I did that um, and things. So basically, it's still dirty, as you can see right here. The bottle here is pretty dirty. Um, and, you know, so, of course, if you had a bigger bottle, you wouldn't have to keep on refilling it and uh, things like whatever. But, you know, it's not that, I mean, that hard. It's just pretty easy, simple, you know. I don't really know much about things like this, but as you can see, it's not nearly as dark as it was before coming out anyways. And, um, but all that down there, I mean, just complete dirt. Uh, this, this, this car here was the 2000 Dodge Neon, um, and it was, uh, in a crash before I got it. My nephew, uh, I got it, it was his car at one time for a short period of time, then I got it. But anyways, so that's it. I mean, you know, these things, I was like, oh, I don't take these things apart, but at all so this year you know i was like oh man i gotta get it you know so just unscrew those and um and said so it's easier to do that than just cut this one video saying to cut it all and replace it and this and that it's easier just to unscrew these clamps here and um he also said that you can uh, spray it with type of lubricant whatever so you do that a lot easier for those clamps to be slide back um, a lot you know so forth so different things like that um, and then also he was saying that you can uh, basically put some stuff in there after you're done like bleach or he also said something like um, house um, oven cleaner or whatever but he said that was on like the bottom of the list so bleach was something that you can put in there let it sit in there and so forth for a little while um, and then whatever so um, you know uh, but you can do whatever you want to do but it clean the thing out and I'm sure you if you have a problem with your heat in your car whatever you know, that, that could be the problem, not necessarily it would be, but could be a problem, um, so forth. So, well, anyways, that's it right there. And, um, you, like I said earlier, just, they were saying as well to, um, uh, both, you know, back flush it and then do the normal way that it normally would go in and out as well. So the out would be the out and the in would be the in instead of the in out and the out in. So, just something like that. I mean, it's, you know, tinkering with your vehicle and things, keeping up on your vehicle. You have family, kids, or something. They're cold in the winter if you've got a colder area or wherever, whatever. And you want to keep things nice and warm, so. Um, but there's other things that could be. So, check other things before you would do something like this. But, like, again, I did the radiator cap here. That helped out some. Um, I changed also. I changed the uh, what did I change? This the thermostat. I, I changed the thermostat on this. Well, had some help with my brother-in-law a little bit. So uh, down here is where the thermostat down there. Um, and and so there's different things you can do. I'm sure all those things needed to be done with this. It's, it's an old vehicle. I know the cap was all messed up. It was older and garbage. So I got a new one. There's like six seven bucks at o'reilly or wherever you go and um the thermostat i got online on ebay aftermarket um you know but it works you know and you get our old beater like this here um it's all you need so uh but there you go there you have it